these might look like any other train, but they're a first for Europe. These trains being built in the heart of Tuscany are Europe's first tri-mode trains to enter passenger service, having started running on routes in Italy at the end of 2022. As well as being fitted with a pantograph for overhead power and a standard diesel engine, they're also fitted with a battery pack power unit and can be switched between modes. These trains are being manufactured by Hitachi Rail for Italian rail operator Trenitalia, based on Hitachi Rail's Masaccio platform. The characteristic is that he can combine during uh, the, the trip and change this technology in, uh, during the life, so without any sort of discontinuity and any sort of, uh, of a disruption. Trenitalia brands their services around different music genres, such as rock, pop, or jazz. They've decided to brand their Masaccio trains as blues. Diesel trains are still necessary and are likely to be for some time because of the wide variation in the amount of electrified lines, particularly across Europe. So train manufacturers and railway operators across the world are looking at greener and more efficient ways to power their trains when external electric power isn't available. However, these trains will still rely on diesel power for large parts of some routes. The batteries only have a range of 15 kilometers at present, though they can be recharged while the train is in operation, both in diesel and electric mode. When it's near a station, the batteries power the train completely, cutting emissions and reducing noise. At other times, they will use overhead power, or when the line is unelectrified, the diesel engine. However, the batteries will still be able to power other aspects of the train than just propulsion, such as lighting and heating. So what are some of the challenges with implementing battery technology in trains? Is it weight or is it power consumption? It's a combination of these two items. So uh, our expert and our designer are continuously working on it. Reduce the weight means also reduce the energy and the consumption. And it's a problem of space, it's a problem of weight. So the evolution of a uh, proposal for battery is uh, improving this aspect. This is why in terms of weight and size, uh, it's OK. But now it will require test and test in order before to go on the market. Despite this, Hitachi claim these new trains will produce 50% less emissions than regular diesel trains. Currently, we are totally focused on uh, battery solutions. Of course, uh, our research and development is working on it. But in terms of time to market, we are confident and believe that this solution will, be, uh, will have a, a strong success in medium and short time. Like cars, the direction of travel for trains is towards that of battery power. But unlike cars, trains aren't quite there yet. Now, trains like this specific one are a step in the right direction, but we're still quite a few years out from having fully battery-operated trains. But at least we're on the right track. Mm -hmm.